Hi everybody, this is Boaz Fala and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for Saturday. It's February 20th, 2016. So the Moon is in Leo today and it's opposing Venus and it's Queen Kongsing the Sun and what does it all mean? Well, you know, when the Moon is in Leo, it's fun and games all around, you know, but we have to pay attention not to put ourselves on the center stage and, and keep everybody else out. So this day is about working on our egos and and really working with our emotions and our needs and our our feelings uh, towards other people and regarding our relationships with other people and really diffusing and 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 dividing the necessary and the righteous from the unnecessary and the you know, let me, let me rephrase. This is a time in which we need to understand what springs out from our ego and we could really become bigger and better and give up and what do we really need within our relationships. And there we need to draw the line in the sand and be very concrete about those things. Because today our emotional needs, our need for satisfaction, could stand in opposition to the needs of other people and we could be confronted by these issues today. There is an opposition to Mercury at around 1600 hours Central European time, that's around 1000 hours Eastern Standard Time and that's a time that again we could be torn in a conflict between the things that we know we should be doing mentally and the things that we really want to do emotionally. So pay attention to that during this afternoon and this evening. And then there's a Queen Conx and Neptune. And when the, whenever there's a Queen Conx between the Moon and Neptune, it's a time that we really have to pay attention not to cancel ourselves altogether on the altar of our relationships or our giving to others. It's about separating again the important from the unimportant and and really putting yourself in a more established and higher place in in your general um, I'm sorry in your general priority list understanding that if you want to keep giving to other people in your life you need your own needs satisfied you need to take care of yourself so you could keep on giving for many years ahead in a satisfied and in a happy manner. So it's about not canceling yourself altogether. As I said before yesterday, Ceres is conjuncting Neptune and this is a time that we could feel nature talking back more intensely. It could be in wonderful positive ways, such as beautiful natural phenomenons, and it could be in catastrophic ways with extreme weather and such. And it's a great time for us to really reconnect to nature, to the uncultured, to the outdoors, to everything that is bigger and uncontrolled in our lives and really become one with the world again. There's a lot of uh, unbridled energy that is coming. It's uncultured, it's wild, and we could either connect to the spiritual essence of that energy and enjoy this rewilding, if, if you want, or we could uh, be a little afraid and, and uh, apprehensive about it and be drawn away, and that's not the way. So just be outside a little bit this weekend, go outside, enjoy it, and reconnect back to our origins. Thank you for listening. See you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.